If you want to start a program, your first step is to click the Start button. The Start menu pops up, and a shortcut to your program might even be right on this menu. The cool part about Windows is it tends to memorize your most used programs and put them right on the Start menu's front page. But if you don't want a shortcut to stay on the Start menu, say you don't want your boss to know you play FreeCell, right-click the FreeCell icon and choose Remove from this list. The shortcut will disappear, yet the real icon stays in its normal place, in this case the Start menu's Games folder. If your program isn't listed on this first menu, click All Programs. Another menu pops up from here. If you see your program, click it. If your program doesn't seem to be located on the Start menu, Windows 7 has several different ways to open it. Here's some options. Click the Start button and click on the Documents folder. From here, double-click the file you want to open. The best part about this is that the correct program automatically opens with the file in tow. Another option is shortcuts. Shortcuts are often found on your desktop. Here you just double-click and it takes you directly to the program. You may also spot the program's icon on the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. From here you just point and click and you should be in business. Still not happy? Try this. Right-click on your desktop, click New, and select the type of document you'd like to create. Contact, shortcut, text document, whichever option you click, Windows 7 creates a blank document on the desktop. Just double-click it and the right program opens. Your last option is the search option. Click the Start button, type the program's name in the text box, and press Enter. Bingo! The program should just pop up. With all these options, you should have no problem getting to the programs you want.